How's it going guys? Hope you all are doing great and welcome back on another episode on Tokyo Revengers Season 2, Episode 2 or you can say Tokyo Revengers Episode 26. Now based on what happened towards the ending of the previous episode, Takemachi was arrested, he was betrayed by one of his own and after analyzing everything that's been happening thus far ever since Kesaki Teta showed up I'm starting to wonder, I'm starting to realize and recognize that maybe the reason why Takemachi has been having a hard time fixing what was done or completing his mission or his ambition could be due to the fact that Kesaki Teta does the same thing, which means before Takemachi goes to the past or to the future, Kesaki Teta has gone ahead of him, which makes sense because each time Takemachi jumps ships, each time he goes to the future or back to the past, Kesaki Teta is already there has a, and has already established himself almost, right? His schemes holds no bounds, which I think is the reason why Takemachi, our poor boy Takemachi continues to have a hard time and that boy continues to catch an ass whipping every episode. I'm not sure why they're doing this to him, but that is Takemachi's reality. So without further ado, let's check out the next episode and see what took place. <laughs> And he's always crying in every episode. Am I the only one that have noticed that? Every episode, this boy is always shedding tears and getting his behind whooped. I don't recognize who that guy is. Shiba Hakai. I don't remember him for some particular reason. Yeah, like I said, I've forgotten some of the detail, like the side characters like this that show up once every blue moon and doesn't really have that much effect. Sometimes, uh, you know, it's going to take a while for me to uh, really remember them. Like Now, like I said, Takemachi has jumped ship again and he has arrived in another time. And of course, his mission here is to hopefully... Uh, not only help Toman, Toman group, but at the same time to stop Hina, his girlfriend, from dying. But as much as he wants to do that, at the same time, there is there are these obstacles that he's gonna have to deal with. These obstacles that he's always facing, and Kesaki Teta always always revolves around those obstacles that he has to face. Now, from the past. Uh, the previous time he was, before he jumped through time again, uh, it turned out that Mikey gave, you know, Kesaki Teta an order to kind of almost do what he wants. And Mikey was kind of seen 
or seen as a bad person or maybe he was he changes his he changed his mind or something happened to him after their last fight on season one um to be honest i'm not sure how this season is going to end or what's gonna happen here i just can't keep my eyes on or keep my hand on what is gonna happen because they've all separated the Toman group are not together as they used to be so I'm not sure if that is a weakness or a strength at this point. Is he jealous? <laughs> yep, he's jealous. <laughs> oh boy okay it's now a competition huh how long are they gonna keep this up Whoa, Takemichi is not backing down. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> uh, to get much is never gonna stop huh uh, he doesn't want this guy to outbest him or to out um outshine him i guess i guess because he's in front of his girlfriend oh wow look at that now that's what's up that's what's up
What's that? Why do he not keeps doing that? And why does he always freezes whenever he gets the praise? Oh, so that's his problem. Could it be that it happens only to a to a girl he likes or the girl he doesn't care about. Oh, Mitsuya. They resemble each other actually, except in the hair color area. Come to think of it, they actually look alike. Cause Mitsuya, I couldn't picture him anymore because it's been it's been a while ever since season one, right? There's always something changing each time Takemachi jumps time. Something is always changing. Oh, another gang. Murder Squad. Oh boy. Murder Squad. These guys look like they're about to actually they look like they've committed something evil and they're just waiting just waiting to digest the evil they have committed why does he want him to leave
they look like they've committed they've done something evil and they're just don't they just don't care about it they are they are ready to go to jail for it it looks like they don't like torments right now it's like 20 against 3 And don't tell me that Takemachi is going to get an ass whooping one more time. Oh, they have ventured into their turf. Yep, they have ventured into their turf. Hajime Kokono. Oh boy. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be nasty, guys. This is not going to be good. And the worst part of it is that Takemachi is not a fighter. He's not a fighter at all. Is more of um, a strategic talker. They are literally outnumbered. Get lost, scumbags. Look, is he smoking something? This is 20 against one. 20 against what, four? Well, two, two of them are not fighters, so it's gonna be. Shiba. Oh, the three of them are siblings. Oh, wow. So, so Mitsuyu jumped ship. He's now the leader of, um, I guess that's the reason why they are not attacking Shiba right now. Because you would think that they're going to jump on him and start kicking his ass, right? Ooh! Sweet. That girl, that girl is, is, she's not a pushover. Oh, this is gonna, this is no good. Well, technically, they can't do anything to them because they are the boss's siblings, so they they gain certain rights and privileges, right? Oh, who is this one?
that guy in the red coat, I would like to know what he's going to do here because he has a red coat on, which means he outranks everyone there. Oi! Watch out! Watch out, watch out, watch out! Ooh! Sweet! You should have seen that coming, man. You think that by now, to get much more stuff, learn how to at least defend himself. I can understand you can't fight, but at least learn how to defend your goddamn self. You should have seen that thing coming. And he couldn't get out of the way. That guy just gave him a lariat. Taiju. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. Look at how he towers over him. Like I said, this boy always gets an ass whooping. This guy looks like Brawly. Doesn't, am I the only one getting this vibe? He kind of looks like Brawly to me. He looks like Broly, like he has that Broly vibe, you know what I mean? I'm sure I'm not the only one who is feeling that right now. If I'm the only one, then there is something wrong with me right now. And again, he loves to fight. He's a brawler too. And they don't like the omens, right? So that's the other sibling. All these guys are Oi! Why didn't you move out of the way, man? Beat this guy to death? Is he kidding? Now, these four siblings running a gang, they will almost be unstoppable. <laughs> what a cliffhanger, man. I gotta say, what a cliffhanger that was just now. What an interesting cliffhanger. This guy shows up. Another brother, another Shiba, shows up. Whoops, Takemachi's ass. I mean, Takemachi gotta have a weapon in order to stand a chance against that guy face to face. And you would think that by now, after all this time, 25 episodes later, Takemachi still doesn't know how to defend himself. He still doesn't know how to fight. He, he, he just, he's just not a fighter in any way, shape, or form. And I, I kind of find that hard to believe after all this time, knowing that you are in a gang. And when it comes to this type of stuff, you got to learn how to fight, at least know how to throw a punch, know how to evade an attack, at least. Haven't he learned anything from all these ass whooping? Does he like to continuously get his behind handed to him every episode? I'm telling you, every episode from the first episode all the way to the 26th episode of the season 2, this boy gets his behind handed to him every episode, right? He, he, he got to somehow get tired of it all. But there you have it, guys. Another episode 
on the next episode we'll get to see if Haki is going to oblige to his older brother uh Taju all right Taiju's orders if he's going to go for it and try to kill Takemachi one thing I can sense from Haki is the fact that he's his own man and if you heard him say that, I'm sure you guys heard him say that he likes to be free he doesn't like to be ordered around he doesn't want to be a captain or anything he likes to be free and does what he wants to do meaning that he has his own mind he has his own self of uh, you know he follows his own moral code which is an interesting thing about him so i'm going to see if he's going to go against his moral code just to please his older brother i, I believe that guy taiju is his older brother right and um i think i didn't catch the part where i, I think i'm not sure if uh mitsuya is older than Taiju or Taiju is oldest. I'm not sure about that. Maybe I missed it. You guys can let me know in the comment section. But from what I can see, it looks like Taiju is at least older than Haki. So um yeah, that's that's just what it is. Thank you guys for joining me. <laughs> and uh stay tuned for next week on uh Tokyo Revenger episode three, episode twenty-seven. On that note, stay safe. Keep on keeping on. <laughs>